Hi, this is Paul Ryan calling. Mr. Ryan, I have some news about your fiancé's murder. Great. So did my mother frame me, or was it someone else? I don't want to tell you over the phone. Your line's not secure. Well, then get over here right away, because I need to know tonight. Denied that you tampered with evidence for Rose's murder, which Paul and I both find extremely interesting considering the fact that you had just told us exactly what you had done. Now, what I want to know is were you lying to the police or were you lying to your own children? Mother, do you have any idea how bad this is? Paul could go to prison because of your life. Now, why, why would you want to do that to your own son? Paul is innocent until proven guilty. Mother, you planted evidence. They could find him guilty on that alone. If he is innocent, he has nothing to worry if about. If he is innocent, you and I both know that Paul had nothing to do with Rose's murder. You know, I'm sure that there are plenty of people in prison who are innocent, but there are precious few who were put there by their own mothers. You're making a scene, darling. Oh, gosh, this is crazy. For days, I have been telling Paul that he's wrong. That, that you couldn't possibly have killed Rose, but what am I supposed to think now when you are destroying your son's life? Oh, my gosh. You did do it, didn't you? You did? And now you are protecting yourself by throwing Paul to the wolves? Well, I'm warning you, Mother. I will not let you get away with it. Good to see you, too. On the phone, you said you had something big to tell me. You hired me to find some proof that could connect your mother to the murder of Rose D'Angelo, right? Right. After all this build-up, it better be worth the wait. What'd you find? A hitman. One hired by Barbara Ryan to kill Ms. D'Angelo. Would you say that was worth the wait? He, he's a pro. The best. I showed him the pictures of your mother and your fiancé. He says this one hired him to whack this one. Can you believe him? He's a straight shooter. Pun intended. These guys have their own weird code of honor, you know. Once he said he talked to me, I knew I'd get the truth. Did he admit to poisoning Rose? Not his style. Too personal. He likes firepower. But Rose wasn't shot. That's the thing. Your mother canceled the hit. She told me you could keep the money, but she 86 the job. I do. Where is this guy? Mm, around. Around where? Around Oakdale? He can be. Get him here. You tell him I need to talk to him myself. The thing is, guys like that, they're not too big on talking to strangers. Yeah, but I'm not a stranger. I know you, and you know me, so you can vouch for me. I, I doubt that'll be enough. How about this? You think this will be enough? It's a possibility. Tell him where to find the other half. I hope you know what you're doing. I know exactly what I'm doing. Sending you back to hell. Is the truth about what you did to Paul? I'm giving you one more chance to do the right thing, and if you don't do it, then I promise you, I will prove that you are lying. Threats from my own daughter? Fine. You go right ahead. Prove it.
what had to be done. Someday, if you ever become a mother, perhaps you'll understand that. I hope not. I hope I never become the kind of mother who chooses protecting herself over protecting her own children. Was it worth it, mother? Because as far as Paul and I are concerned, we no longer have a mother. And as soon as Will finds out about... You leave Will out of this. He is too young, and he has suffered enough. Because of you? Okay, fine, Jen. You go right ahead and hate me. But you better protect your little brother, no matter what. You're right. I have to. Because after what you did to Paul, Will needs all the protection from you he can get. Hello? Jennifer. Uh, Walker Daniels here. Listen, I found something down here. You need to take a look at it. Where are you? I'm at my lab at Memorial. I'm on my way. Good news? The best. I hired Walker Daniels to evaluate the evidence from Rose's murder to see if he could clear Paul. And you know what? He found something. So I'd ask you to wish me luck, Mother. But it looks like you're gonna need it from now on. We'll see about that. No, you did it, Barbara. Why don't you do us all a favor this time and just admit it? So I get this funny phone call, right, telling me to go to the mausoleum, and guess what I find there? Congratulations, Barbara. You wanted to punish me for l loving Rose? Well, you win. This time. I don't know how this could have possibly happened. Paul. Anything it's is possible. possible when it comes to you, Barbara. It's not enough that you poison the love of my life, but now you want me to hang for it? Yes! Let's invite everybody that hates us to our wedding. Let's not stop with me, your mother and your sister. Let's get Daddy to come, too. If he can get out. And maybe we'll get somebody to test the cake for us so we don't keel over dead before we get to our honeymoon. <laughs> Why couldn't you trust me? All you had to do was believe. And I'd still be alive. And you finally destroyed Rose. But I'll be damned if I let you get away with it. I know I made a mistake, but please don't come on it by going to hell. Why not? Because Hal would think that you killed her and that you're trying to frame me. Mother, please, just tell me the truth, finally. You killed the only woman I ever loved. You did it. You poisoned Rose. This is Paul Ryan. You're a real funny guy, Ryan. Yeah, I have my moments. Where's the other half of my money? You want money, I want information. I heard. When did this woman hire you to kill Rose D'Angelo? About a month ago. Said she had a job for me, I took her on. Go on. I couldn't figure her out. One minute she wants that shit dead so bad I can taste it. Hands me the money, gives me the instructions. Then a few hours later, she's freaking out. I can't go through with it. I can keep the money, no problem. The contract's null and void. She's a real nut job. Any idea what changed her mind? She didn't change her mind. She was gonna do the job herself. Something, Mother. Oh, honey, I was hoping I'd run into you. Really? Yes. I mean, when you told me that they found some kind of proof that would clear Paul, you ran out of the restaurant so quickly, I thought maybe I could come over here and see if I could help in some way. <laughs> you have done more than enough to help. In fact, I think we'd all be a lot better off if you stopped helping. <sighs> if you follow me, I will have security throw you out in a heartbeat. I mean it. What are you asking me? Are you sure about this? Tested it three times. Well, this is incredible, Walker. This, this changes everything. We need to call Jessica. Hello?